and never contact me in public. They're watching. They can't know you're helping me. There's so much I could tell you. So many secrets. But then you'd be in danger too. It's best if we're not seen talking. Her house is almost directly across the street hmm. from mine. Like it says, Southwest the of the chap. Coincidence? I don't think so. Remember, Bernadette Penelis, 6 a.m. Don't let her see you watch. Oh, I wanted to meet you. I'm Dion, captain of the Skingrad Guard. Hmm. Let's see. Let's talk about Safiya first. Luna Umbranox is better off without that irresponsible husband of hers. Don't the say. most honorable thing he ever did was to disappear and leave her alone. Try our wines and cheeses and Salmo sweet rolls. See the castle, but don't expect to see the Count. He doesn't mix with strangers. Because he's vampire. You have something you want to tell me about that nutcase? Yeah. Really? He's getting worse then. Thanks for letting me know. If you think he's becoming dangerous, you come straight to me, and I'll handle it. Be seen. Yeah, you can still arrest him because he won't. Well, we'll wait till he will tell me to kill her, I guess. Mm. So it's over here. It's very hard luck shit. I would love to have that girl that he have inside. Ah, I can sleep here. I got the gold. Can I help you? I'm Ma Gramogak, proprietor of Two Sisters Lodge. My sister and I it own seems the place. Whatever. Two sisters. See? Need a bed? Good food? Tell me something about your sister then. My sister, Ugak Gramogak, runs the Grateful Pass stables. Oh. oh. She's the quiet one. I'm the talker. Already met her. I've had about enough of Sir Lazar. He thinks he's so much better than everyone else. You don't say. Don't count on seeing the Count at the castle. <laughs> he's a great sorcerer, but he doesn't like visitors. Yeah, already heard that. Let's do business. Okay, she's only apprentice, but she doesn't really like me. <laughs> Strawberries. Yeah, 414. 415. She don't have the best ones. This one is pretty good, obviously. But not the best. I can sell her stuff. I guess. She got 50 gold. You got a great deal there. Thank you for your patronage. No problem. Stop talking. I'm waiting. Yeah, she's mad. You need some place to rest? I can rent you a room for the night for ten gold. Sure. It's pretty cheap. Okay, then. It's upstairs. The room at the west end of the hall. That's okay. to your right when you come out the door. Yeah. Enjoy. To my right. Okay. So? No. Leave me alone. Okay, leave her alone. Oh, it's even. Hmm. Yeah, five hours should be just enough. What the fuck? A little bird told me that you've been asking around town about oh. Glarther, a resident eccentric. I'd like to know why. 
<laughs> Let me give you some advice. Glarther is crazy. So far, harmless crazy. But I keep an eye on him because it's my job to. You don't want to get involved with him. I don't care how much he's paying you, it isn't worth it. Like I said, he's crazy. Since you're courteous enough to tell the truth, I'll do the same by trusting you to talk to a guard. He asks you to do anything strange. Hmm. Hmm. I don't really want to rush leveling up, so let's just wait those two hours. Since he woke me up. Already there. His house, 6 a.m. Baker, Bernard, Bernard. Yo, they allow this. Allow the frame drop as well. to you. Readings. What do you want? What do you want? I've heard that someone has it out for Tutius Sextius. Want to hurt him? Glad you. <laughs> Concerning this, I can only speak to a friend. Whatever. Bye. I am Ambrose Can, grape grower for Cirilli Brothers. I'm also an advanced trainer for weapon and shield parries. Mm, block trainer. Fadus Calidius at the Fighters Guild also teaches block. But he'd be the first to admit I'm his superior in every way. Okay, so we are advanced Bye. trainer and he's like... Newbie trainer, or novice trainer. I'm only asking for a single coin. Looks pretty young for a beggar. Quite a few guards actually around here, as you can see. Pretty well protected town. Or city. Is King Rest Town or City? Hmm. How are you? Fine, thanks. Hi. Hi, Tilmo. Oh, the sheep. There are some dungeons around the road, also this part. So let's go. More dungeon, I think. Could I watch actually the time? So we cannot continue with the Galactic Quest line. I don't know if they will just arrest him or just kill him on the spot. Okay, there is a cave right over here. But 
Let's see what it did then. Actually, it's further away than I thought. Firelight Gale, definitely remember the name. Oh, now I remember. Yeah, I was hearing my last LP, wasn't I? This is the other entrance to it. Right? Yeah. Just a sec. So I left my door open and my cat came in and opened the door. It's quite cold from outside. <laughs> Seems like the creatures will be inside, okay. So far we mostly for bandits. And undead. What the fuck is this sound like? A big fire is somewhere. Alright. Oh yeah, there's actually a big fire here. Oh, that's actually pretty accurate shot. I'm surprised that we are still seeing imps. Well, this will be like imp cave. Let's go to the other area first. Ooh, Shield of the Sun, heavy armor. Light on myself. Oh, snap, I forgot to sell loot. Hmm. Well, this is annoying. I gotta sell my loot. And then come back. So fast, all time. Sorry, guys. Ooh, great. 45 FPS. Instead of 60. Now back to 60. But yeah, Oblivion uses only one core. On my 4 core processor, that is what it's causing pretty much because there is a lot of people, the frame drops. How goes it? What do you want? Yes? I don't mean to gossip. But he is more than a bit strange. I doubt it. However, he's always been tolerated as the town eccentric. Have you heard about Kvach? They say the Daedra came from Oblivion and burned the whole city to the ground. Yep. Have a look at my wares. I'm sure there's something to suit you. <laughs> All the stuff that I sold to him. Except this vest, right? Ok, 
Okay, yeah. And it was weighing me down a lot. An excellent bargain. You can take like eight. Easy burden. I keep this one, but I will sell this one. Gold nuggets and quite a few silver nuggets. All right, that's pretty much all. Tell your friends about me. You too. Don't really make that much gold, to be honest. Yeah, we are close to 4K, oh, almost there. Why the fuck is it so loud there when you're under it? Yeah, that's the aim that is here. Taking all because it's pretty good loot. Okay, so let's go this way. Oh, this is pretty much the MK. More fires. Also, a red cave, obviously. Quite a few imps around here. They're actually quite hurt. Each other as well. That is it for now with the imps. Killed four of them in this area. Deep canyon, huh? So the other entrance probably is there. Oh yeah, I think that is for the key. So I guess we should do it. And don't use my lockpicks. I'm starting to kinda remember this scale. All in the harder. Before, not only imps, but something tougher. <laughs> Yeah, the other entrance is right here on the road. I actually went there first, right before. Yeah, I think I went here first. Yep. I'm fucking him again. A little 
big tree. <laughs> big tree, big shroom, <laughs> not tree. Yeah, deep canyon. Deep canyon as well. Torch is finally gone. Hmm. Okay, that might be good. Ooh, well, this is what I call a nice loot. There we go, a mace. Amulet. A shield. Ah, no! Very nice loot. Sorry for this. I have to respond for the... And a question... Good thing that I opened that, to be honest. Only two lockpicks and I got a nice loot from it. More imps. You know what? Let's use some arrows on them. And now I might get them all to go out. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, I'm not going out, you asshole. I just drop here. Slowly. Let us see that imp. Hmm, there might be something interesting in this pouch there. Or sack. Ha! <laughs> okay, just rest. Yeah, okay, here we go. Here we go, the key. Back and forth, back and forth. This is how we should do this dungeon, I guess. Broken hammer, but good armor. No. Skill increase, so good trade, I guess. Good trade indeed. Yeah, we pretty much have this way. To like little road here. To this cave. To be honest, I would call this one of the better dungeons in this game. 
be delayed and would not. Also, that pirate cave is a really good dungeon. Well, pirate ghost cave, to be correct. I don't remember the name, but we will probably, well, most likely do it in this open because we are doing the old dungeons. There we go, open the door with the key, onto fire. I don't know why these fires are here. I guess just because the name of Firelight, they are the first. So, just somebody burned those fires and he left and the imps take over, or just kill the residents. I don't see any bodies or skeletons, so I guess the people just left. And I don't think imps could create those fires. Well, they have fire spells, but still. I know they are intelligent enough to do that. Anyway, we got quite a few of them in this quite open area. You are missing, but also I missed. The final markman increased. Didn't even check if there was any soul in that gem. Got a free hit. Cause I let you have one. Ooh, the first try. Okay, we are taking all because we can. Yes, we can. No idea how to pronounce that word. Quite a few imps around here. Once again. How many arrows do I actually have? 41. That looks actually pretty good to use those silver arrows. So yeah, I'm going to use them. Yeah, I can hear the water. Are they only flying creatures in Oblivion? Or only flying enemies? Because I don't really remember anything else that can fly. And there's also Antra Ima over there. Let's forget him for now. <laughs> 